Do you want to optimize your resources every time you install a new title? Optimizing your PC for gaming is not always necessary, especially if you are using a high-end PC. Applications such as GeForce Experience mostly does the optimization and you're good to go and also enjoy your game. However, sometimes you may still experience stuttering in games after a while. And in hope for searching a fix in the web, you've landed yourself into this video. Hello awesome people! How are you guys doing? So this is here Vibro from Tech Week, and today in this video I'll teach you a few tweaks that will surely boost the performance of your games. So without any further delay, let's get into the video. But before moving forward, if this is the first time you're watching my video, then please do consider subscribing to my channel, as 98% of you guys aren't subscribed. So if you really want to support a small creator like me, then a sub to the channel will definitely make my day. This video is basically the second part of the optimization video that I've just created last year. So if you're watching this video before that, then I would highly suggest you to watch my previous optimization video, link of which you can find in the video description or you can find in the i button on the top right hand corner of the screen. Alright, first is disable any overlay. Did you know that sometimes a simple overlay can cause major stuttering or even micro stuttering while playing your games? So for that, try playing your favorite games while keeping all the overlays disabled. This goes for Discord, Windows Game Bar, GeForce Experience or any other programs that has a overlay feature over your game. So make sure you turn them off. Number 2. Underpower your CPU There are times when you might just happen to have a very capable processor paired with a not so capable video card. Because of this, there are cases of bottlenecks and causes the processor to consume more power than actually required and it might result into thermal throttling. I have made a dedicated video about thermal throttling which you can find in the i button, but I want you to complete this video before watching that. Click on the start button and search for edit power plan. Click on edit power plan, then click on change advanced power settings. Now click on processor power management, click on maximum power state, then select plugged in. Here enter value 84, then click on apply. And lastly, exit the power setting menus. Remember this value might differ from system to system, so try setting a value yourself which is above 80 and check for results. Now you must be thinking by reducing the power of your CPU it will make the game more choppy, right? But I want you to try this and check for results, as the results might surprise you for sure and you might love me for the rest of your gaming life. Don't worry if by any chance you're getting worse performance, then definitely you can come back here to the power setting and plans and restore the plans to the default settings. And you're good to go. Number 3 is disable dynamic tick. Dynamic ticks basically disable the system timers to save power when the system is not in use. Sometimes this can lead to serious stuttering and many users have reported that with the settings turned off, they notice a constant stable frame rate. So here's how to disable it. First go to Start, then search for CMD. Right click on it and click on Run as Administrator. Paste in the following command which is appearing in the screen right now. Or even you can copy and paste the command from the article in the video description. There you will find the command. Just copy and paste it there. After pasting the command, press enter. And you are done. But before moving forward to the next step, let me ask you a simple question. Do you use public Wi-Fi when traveling? Have you ever wondered what could happen if someone could just see everything you were doing and have access to your accounts? And that's where NordPass comes into the picture. With the help of NordPass, you can avoid these situations forever. NordPass is a simple, easy to use and very secure password manager created by the cybersecurity experts who built NordVPN, the advanced online security and privacy app that is trusted by over more than 14 million users worldwide. NordPass has the feature to store all passwords in one place, helps you to log in faster through the autofill feature, 
generate secure passwords along with that you can also save your valuable time you also get a data breach scanner that finds out if your online account or credit card information has been leaked. Along with that, you can also share passwords securely with your family members or friends. Get 50% off a two-year NordPass premium plan at www.nordpass.com slash techweek or use the code techweek to avail this offer. Plus, you also get an additional month for free and by any chance, if you're not happy with the service, there is a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's nothing to fear. And lastly, a big thanks goes to NordPass team for supporting this channel. All right, now let's move into the tips. Number four is disable HPET. High-precision event timers are used in PCs since really long time. It claims to improve the sync between frame rates and refresh rate. Not to forget, many users have reported that disabling HPET actually helped them to get stable gameplay, and it could just be the solution for some PCs. And here's how to do it. To manually disable it from Device Manager, go to Start and search for Device Manager and open it. Click on System Devices. Scroll until you find High Precision Event Timer. Right-click on it and disable it. Or you can also boot into your BIOS menu, check the tabs for HPET and turn it off in your BIOS. But this process is really different from PCs to PCs, so I won't be showing you this BIOS method. Number 5. Force VSync from NVIDIA Control Panel. Sometimes the stuttering which you face is because of mere display sync. In that case, you can force V-Sync or FreeSync from NVIDIA or AMD control panel. This will ensure that frame rates are getting synced with the display refresh rate. And here's how to do it. Right-click on the desktop and click on NVIDIA control panel. Click on Manage 3D Settings. In the Global Settings tab, click on Vertical Sync to On or Fast. Click on Apply and you're done. This option might not be available for you. If so, then please skip this process. Number 6. Undervolt your CPU. Sometimes undervolting your CPU gives you better results with CPU intensive works. It reduces the voltage consumption while staying at the same frequency and lower temperature on higher frequency. Although it is not that easy as it sounds. But don't worry if you follow my thermal throttling video, you'll be able to undervolt your CPU without any issue. So make sure you watch that video after this one. Number 7. Set Application Affinity This is a very old school advanced trick used for applications that are not optimized. Sometimes, some applications might use all of the cores available, which can cause crashes, lag while running it, and stuff like that. Setting affinity to a fewer cores can actually stabilize the runtime. And here's how to do it. While running an application or game, press Ctrl Shift plus Escape key on your keyboard at the same time. And then Task Manager will open up. Click on More Details. Right-click on the applications or games and click Set Affinity. Now unselect a few cores. Keep two to six cores takes depending on your processor. And finally, click on OK and it is done. Number eight, update your BIOS. BIOS is a very important yet ignored topic. A faulty or unoptimized BIOS can result in various problems, including poor thermal management and poor resource management which then results in unstable system causing stuttering and frequency drops. Now to update your BIOS, click on the Start button and search for Device Manager. And then open it. Check for Firmware. Right-click on System Firmware and click on the Update Driver. Click on Automatic Search for Drivers Online. 
let the process complete, and if there is an update for your BIOS, you'll require to reboot your system. Number 9. Select the best settings for your video card. Make sure you know two things very well, your video card and the game or application you are running. Some newer titles require cards with 6 GB of VRAM. So make sure you have checked your system specification and compare it with the game's minimum system requirements. After you have confirmed that, adjust your graphics settings according to your requirements. If you have an older card, then try running in medium or even low settings. Number 10. Best Presets for AMD Ryzen Chips This process is only for Ryzen processors. Intel users can skip this step. If you have an AMD Ryzen 8-series laptop processor, then it might get trickier to underpower it. The best solution is to install Ryzen Controller Program. This is a third-party application that can reduce the TDP and increase cooling, and technically it is the only way to underpower a Ryzen 8-series APU. And here's how to do it. Download and install Ryzen Controller from the official website. After you have installed Ryzen Controller, open it with administrative rights. Copy the following settings as shown in the pictures. Copy these settings only if you are running Ryzen processors with TDP 35 Watt. And before tweaking anything else, make sure you think twice before doing it because it can damage your chip. Well, these are the advanced settings that can help you to optimize your computer to get full performance. Please let me know which of the steps were really beneficial for you. And if this video was helpful, then please do consider liking this video as your like will help this video to get promoted to other amazing people like you. And if you're looking for the best voice changing software for your computer, then please check this video to your left. And if you're looking for the best screen recording software for your older computer, then watch this video to your right. This is Vibro and I will see you in the next video. Cheers!